This video is all about square knots. I'll show you how to use them to form a bracelet and how to use them to form a sliding closure. If you're making a bracelet, you'll need three strands of cord. And while I wouldn't normally use three different colors, it'll be much easier for you to see what I'm doing. Knot all three cords together and then secure them to any surface. I'm taping them down here, but it's actually much easier to do this on a clipboard. I'm going to refer to these strands as the left, the right, and the middle. The middle strand will never move. Start by crossing the left strand over the middle and under the right. This triangle will be very important in the next step. Now, take the right strand and bring it under the middle and up through this triangle. Then just tighten it up by pulling on the left and right strands at the same time. This is one half of your square knot. To finish the knot, repeat those steps in reverse. Take the right strand and cross it over the middle and under the left. Then the left strand goes under the middle and up through this section. That's one square knot done. Keep repeating these steps. Again, the left goes over the middle and under the right. The right goes under the middle and up through this section. The right goes over the middle and under the left. The left goes under the middle and up through this section. Here's the same process from another angle. The left goes over the middle and under the right. The right goes under the middle and up through this section. The right goes over the middle and under the left. The left goes under the middle and up through this section. Keep going and you should get something like this. I also want to show you how to use a square knot to create a sliding closure for bracelets. Let's pretend like this cord is a bracelet. First, cross the ends of the bracelet. Then, tape it off so that it won't move while you work on it. Take another piece of cord that's at least 10 inches long. Slide it under both ends of the bracelet. You can tie an overhand knot first to make this easier, or you can just get started forming square knots. Basically, we're doing the same steps as before. This is your left strand, this is your right, and these two together will be your middle strand. I'm moving my tape down just a little bit to have more space to work. Just cross the left over the middle and under the right, Now the right goes under both of those white middle strands and up through this section. Now cross the right over the middle and under the left. Then the left goes under the middle and up through this section. Form at least three or four more square knots. I'm finishing the closure with one more overhand knot. Then you can seal this with glue before trimming the ends. You'll also want to make sure that you have knots at each end of the bracelet so that the sliding closure doesn't slip off.
and now you have a slide enclosure. You can make your bracelet bigger or smaller by tugging on the ends. To see these square knots in action, you can click here for a full bracelet tutorial. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.